Welcome and good evening. Superintendent Fenoy, school board members, distinguished guests, parents and friends. On behalf of the administration, faculty and staff of William T. Dwyer High School, I would like to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. It is now my pleasure to recognize and say thank you for supporting the class of 2020. Dr. Donald E. Fenoy, the second superintendent of Palm Beach County Schools. Mr. Keith Oswald, deputy superintendent. Dr. Joseph Lee, North Regional Instructional Superintendent. Mrs. Barbara McQuinn, school board member. Ms. Samantha Raker, 2020 senior class sponsor. Mrs. Bridget Ann Wagner, 2020 senior class sponsor. I will also like to thank all the students who are currently enlisted and are serving in our military forces. The Dwyer faculty and staff, the Weir Dwyer Foundation, the Academy of Finance Foundation, our Panther Athletic Booster Club, our feeder pattern principals, supporting agencies and community stakeholders at this time would like to express our sincere condolences to any and all families who have been impacted by COVID-19 and the families that lost loved ones during this pandemic. I want to take a special moment to acknowledge the five members who unexpectedly departed Panther Nation this school year. Kadar, Tristel, Aiden, Brianna, and our beloved English teacher, Mrs. Keisha Tooks Riley. You may be gone, but you will never be forgotten. Thank you for sharing your lives with us. For that reason, I would like my audience to join me in a brief moment of silence. Thank you. Coming up, you'll be hearing from a variety of speakers, including our superintendent, Dr. Donald Fenoy, and some members of the class of 2020. Now, I invite Thomas Vallis, our SGA president, to the podium. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem performed by Amanda Friedman. so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched was so gallant Hello, and congratulations to the high school class of 2020. You did it, own it, be proud of it. You are a graduate of the A-rated school district of Palm Beach County, and that says a lot about you. And while we're passing around virtual high fives, let's reach out to your family and friends who are joining us from your home, online, or on TV this evening as we mark this milestone in your amazing academic career. They played a very big role in your success, and we applaud them. Seniors, although we are physically separated this evening, make no mistake, we are united in our admiration for your success. Class of 2020, 
let's get real. How remarkable and ironic it is that you devoted the last 13 years of your life to education, while some of the most poignant and everlasting lessons you have learned occurred over the past two months during the final stretch of your high school career. The district's theme heading into the new year was 2020 vision. Now that's ironic. 2020 vision? Nobody saw this reality coming. A pandemic named Corona, or translated crown because of the way the virus appears under a microscope, changed life as we knew it. It may look like a crown, but let me tell you, it's been a royal pain. So let's reflect for a few minutes. For 13 years, you learned vocabulary. But again, some of the most memorable words or phrases you will never forget, you learned over the last two months. For starters, social distancing. As a society, we thrive on camaraderie, collaboration, and community. Think about that. The things you probably took for granted two months ago are now more important than ever to you. Being in a physical classroom on your campus with your teachers, classmates and friends, sitting side by side. The loving hug of a grandparent that is just too risky to share right now. Going to the beach or the mall, spending birthdays together. Well, here's a big one, celebrating your graduation. Distance learning. If someone has said to you that you would be spending the last two months of high school in a Google Classroom, full time from home, maybe even in your pajamas, you would have thought they were crazy. But that's exactly what you did. You and your teachers pivoted with remarkable dexterity and efficiency and just made it work. Essential workers. That includes our medical heroes and also the many other brave souls who didn't have the luxury of staying home. The people who we depend on day in and day out to stock our grocery store shelves, to deliver food and prescriptions, to serve the more than two million free meals that the school district of Palm Beach County has distributed to students since our schools closed on March 13th. Okay, in some cases, our heroes do wear capes. You, our esteemed graduates, are also essential. You are essential to your families, to your friends, and to the future of our country. You may feel isolated and frustrated right now, and that is understandable. But I also hope that you take great comfort in knowing that we are all in this together. Your lives will be forever influenced and many decisions shaped by this unprecedented global fight against coronavirus. These are not times to forget. Years from now, when you reflect, this just won't be a frightening time of inconvenience and uncertainty. You will view this as a challenge that you conquered. It's made you stronger, resilient. It's taught you the importance of fraternity, family, and friends. This collective disappointment that you and the entire global class of 2020 is experiencing is valid. You missed out on all of those rituals and traditions that many graduates before you probably took for granted. But I also believe that this current state may very well end up being your most profound catalyst for accomplishing great things. A springboard to your future success and how your journey will leave permanent footprints and impact future generations. You have the power to make sure that your children and grandchildren never experience anything like this. In the class of 2020, we have future doctors, nurses, scientists, and mathematicians who may very well develop the solution to eliminating future pandemics, or at the very least, make our world more fundamentally prepared for the unexpected. We have future business leaders and lawmakers who will demand more efficiency and oversight. You have future bankers and stockbrokers who will work amid a new economic and financial order. We have future educators who will teach in a whole new way while also reminding generations of students of their potential. They will deliver that lesson from the wisdom of knowing tough times and the experience that comes from adapting and rising to a challenge. I encourage you to channel any negative thoughts and use them as a source for motivation to set personal goals. Stay on course and use the redefined 2020 vision to be laser focused on discovering what will make you feel fulfilled, accomplished, and appreciated. If you believe in yourself, if you remain true to yourself, continue to educate yourself, you'll have everything you need to find the right path for you. Many of you are now the first in your family to graduate high school. 
that's fantastic. Your parents are beaming with pride. Every parent and guardian wants their child to have a better life than they had. You are proving today that is possible. Despite what the news and the headlines and what the social media might tell you, the future is bright. I know that it is bright because I know you. This class, the class of 2020, has already had a profound impact on your community. Your principals, teachers, and I were humbled by your altruism as you supported the people of the Bahamas who were devastated by Hurricane Dorian. You sent supplies, equipment, and money. You've cooked up and provided meals for the elderly over the holidays. You've created programs such as We Dine Together to ensure that no student sits alone in the cafeteria or courtyard during lunch. You sent a contingent of students to Tallahassee to lobby elected officials for additional support regarding mental health for students and staff, not of concern for yourself, but out of concern for your peers. For these reasons and countless others, I know the future is bright. You are the sum of all of the great things that you have done, that you are doing, and that you will do. Walk with your head up and your shoulders back. Be proud of who you are and where you come from. Since becoming superintendent, I've looked forward to shaking the hand of every graduate who crosses the stage. That's about 14,000 hands each year. I regret that I won't be able to take part in that annual tradition. But please know that I look forward to the day when our paths cross and I congratulate you in person. No matter where your journey takes you after high school, and may that journey be extraordinary, my hope is that you will return to our community with your hard-won wisdom and play an instrumental role in our future growth. You will be welcomed with open arms. In Palm Beach County, we always leave the light on so you can find your way home. I want you to stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay strong. You are the class of 2020. Many of you at the beginning of your senior year voted on senior superlatives. You've identified characteristics that you associated with your classmates. For example, one of those is the senior who most likely brightens our day. Another humorous superlative is the senior who has a dog with a tremendous appetite for homework. Well, this particular senior class of 2020, all of you, your senior superlative to me is most likely to succeed. You've had the challenges of distance learning. You've had the many disappointments of the last quarter of your senior year, yet here you are. You have succeeded already. So congratulations to an extraordinary class of 2020. Oh!
At this time, I have the honor to introduce our outstanding student speakers. Our first student speaker is our class co-senior president, Hudson Yates. Hudson will be attending the University of North Florida. Our next speaker is the co-senior class president, Mian Nugent. Mian will be attending the University of Florida. You will also hear from the class of 2020 salutatorian, Nico Toms. During his four years at Dwyer, he participated in Students Against Melanoma Club and the Spanish Club. He graduated with a 5.6 HPA as a student in the IB program. He plans to continue his education at the University of Notre Dame while pursuing a degree in theology and writing. Lastly, it is truly my honor to introduce our valedictorian, Emma Cavendish. During her four years at Dwyer, she participated in numerous clubs, sports, and organizations. She served as president of our National Honor Society and treasurer of our Science Honor Society. She graduated with a 5.7 HPA as a student in the IB program and received a perfect score of 36 on the ACT. In addition to her academic studies, Emma was a successful athlete. She was a district champion in swimming and set four school records in track and cross country. Emma was recruited by many programs throughout the country for rowing and has accepted an offer to Princeton University, where she plans to pursue a degree in chemistry. Good evening, fellow graduates, faculty, family, and friends. My name is Hudson Yates, and I've had the pleasure to be your class president. Today is the day we get to celebrate a great accomplishment that we have worked hard to attain. This accomplishment has not been an easy one, has tested our perseverance. Perseverance is defined by having persistence in doing something despite difficulty. Our graduating class was born during a fear in a post 9-11 world, and now we are graduating during the hardships of a global pandemic. Because of the coronavirus, we lost our senior milestones, such as our senior prom, grad bash, senior activities, and lastly, our ideal graduation. Despite all that we have seemingly lost, we have also gained an enormous sense of gratitude. Gratitude for what we have right in front of us, family, friends, and the ability to write the next chapter of our lives. Although I'm not standing up on a stage directly talking to you, I can gladly say we all still made it. Instead of giving up in a time of uncertainty, we all continued our classes even when it was hard to adjust. We had virtual goodbyes and had no time to realize our last four years of high school had come to an end. Although these are unprecedented times, this is still an exciting time. We're celebrating the past four years and we're also celebrating what's next for our lives. We're all about to set off in different directions, whether it be new cities, new lives, or close to home. Whatever path each of us chooses to take, we are fully equipped to withstand difficulty and persevere to become the best people we can be. I'd like to thank my extraordinary sponsors, Wagner and Raker, along with my student council, my family, and my friends that have helped me get to where I am today. After all those days of wondering if we will make it to the end, we are finally here, this very moment that marks the start of our new journey. Thank you, and if there's one thing we have learned, please wash your hands. Now I'd like to introduce my amazing co-president, Mion Nugent. I want to start off by thanking two women who have put their heart and soul into this class, Wagner and Raker. I also want to shout out my fellow student council members who are some of the most incredible girls I've ever met, and of course, my family and friends who have gotten me here today. I believe that the process of graduation is actually much more than just one day. It's not just the day where we're supposed to walk across that stage and receive our diploma. It was everything else leading up to it too. From grad bash to prom to senior trips and senior week activities, all of which was ultimately preparing us to finally say our goodbyes to one another and our childhood. When school was indefinitely canceled, one of my biggest fears came to light. And that was a fear of not having closure not being able to have an official last day, not being able to say goodbye to teachers, and not being able to walk out of the atrium while Mr. B asked us to see our schedule for a thousandth time this year. All of that was awaiting us. But that finale and monumental ending was stripped away. And what sort of ending is this one, right? One where I'm filming a video speaking to all of you and saying, well, I wish you the best of luck, class of 2020. I'll see you in about 10 years. No, 
because then it hit me and I realized this isn't what graduation was about. Graduation was never intended to be a goodbye. It was meant to be a celebration, an event that recognized all that the class of 2020 had accomplished over these last 13 years, especially over these last few months with everything thrown at us. So on that note, to all the 584 members of this class, I know I could never possibly speak for each and every one of you, but I just wanna say how remarkable you guys truly are. To the people who I've had the pleasure of getting to know, to the hard workers, to the dreamers, and to every single one of you, I can't express to you enough how proud I am to get to be part of a class that has so much courage and perseverance. While I know we have all had different high school experiences, we all have one thing in common. We will always be Dwyer's class of 2020. We may be the unluckiest class, but we are nothing short of remarkable. Congratulations, class of 2020. You deserve to be celebrated today. At this time, I'd like to introduce our solidictorian, Nico Tom. Good evening, parents, teachers, staff, hardworking students, and math study students. This is a big day for us. I used to always joke that I could never imagine us actually walking across the stage and getting our diploma. Well, now I know why that was. The truth is, no one could have anticipated this. But over the past four years, I do believe our class has come to sort of expect the unexpected. At Dwyer, the unexpected happens so often, it's almost difficult to call it that. You could be walking to lunch and unexpectedly learn that there's a Chick-fil-A truck on campus. You could be reading a play with Miss Mulligan and unexpectedly hear a horse raven screech that will prevent even the elite students with AirPods from falling asleep. You could go to guidance and unexpectedly get in and out of there in only a minute or two, though this event is extremely rare. Our school even survived a literal tornado, though instead of saying we're not in Kansas anymore, the baseball team was saying we can't have practice anymore. It's clear our class has gotten used to the unexpected, and I can make a joke right now about how our class of perfect 2020 vision didn't see this one coming, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm gonna take a minute to show appreciation for the things we can be sure of. The emergence of the coronavirus at this would-be highlight of our high school experience has robbed us of so many wonderful things, but rather than dwelling on the lost opportunities, we should dwell on what the big man Wiz Khalifa once said. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? While the future remains unknown, I can be sure our loved ones will be there to support us through this all. The amount of support and selfless devotion I've received from my parents has truly carried me through my high school career, and without them, I would be nowhere. And I can see the same devotion and love radiating throughout all the Dwyer parents I have come across. Sometimes I wonder how I got so lucky in having made the most amazing friends throughout these past four years, but I needn't look far. Our parents and extended families have shaped and molded us into the strong, confident students we are today, and we forever are indebted to them. Another thing that will remain the same is what we have taken from our time at Dwyer. Whenever I end up this new chapter in my life, I will never forget the impressions Dwyer teachers and staff have made on my growth inside and outside the classroom. Ms. Medved, Dr. Porter, Mr. Lehman, and Ms. Flannery come to mind as just a few of the amazing teachers who have really impacted my high school career. And Ms. Petrick is actually the reason I came to Dwyer and literally raised me throughout the entire experience. I'm sure each one of you has those one or two teachers you can identify as not just efficient instructors, but devoted mentors and even friends. It is truly a shame we are not able to celebrate with all you incredible teachers and staff in person, but I am confident your impacts on our lives will remain with us forever, no matter where we go. Lastly, real quick, I just want to thank God for being my strength. High school has been some of the hardest and most stressful times of my life up to this point, and I personally know I never would have made it this far without my faith keeping me going. I've been talking about things that will never change in the midst of unexpected chaos, and for me, my faith in God is an everlasting rock. If you're sitting there marveling at your accomplishments and filled with gratitude for successfully making it this far, as each of you should be, I encourage you to take a second and consider where your help comes from. Thank you, everyone, and go Panthers. And I would now like to introduce our valedictorian, Emma Cavendish. Hi, I'm Emma. Remember me? We went to high school together. Now, parents, teachers, administration, class of 2020. We were supposed to be together tonight. Instead, we're graduating into a worldwide pandemic and global recession, having a virtual graduation. But even though we won't be able to walk across the stage, still, we're standing at one of the greatest moments of our lives. I would like to first thank my parents. Thank you. You always believed in me, even when I didn't believe in myself, and you always gave me perspective to realize that not everything was worth stressing about. I encourage each of you right now to thank someone who has helped you. Now, on behalf of the class of 2020, 
I'd like to thank the teachers and staff at Dwyer who made this day possible. I want to mention a few by name. Thank you, Mr. Embick, for challenging us every day and inspiring us to think about the world differently. Thank you, Ms. Medved, for your kindness and your willingness to listen to our concerns and give advice. Thank you, Mr. Liebman, for your humor and making history come to life. Thank you, Ms. Wilkes, for religiously guarding the side gate every day, and thank you, Mr. B, for letting us out the front gate after Ms. Wilkes refused to let us out on the side. Thank you, Ms. Mulligan, for your frighteningly realistic bird calls. And finally, thank you to Starbucks. You played a not unimportant role in my success. We have had amazing achievements at Dwyer over the last four years. We have had seniors organize charity events like Chloe Rubin's Dance Marathon and Bianca Papa's Cancer Run. We have four National Merit Scholars. Congrats to Heishman, Sam, and Skyler. Our bowling team won a state championship and our basketball team won districts. Starting today, we are leaving Dwyer behind. Okay, well, we did that in March, but you know what I mean, and embarking on a new chapter. We have seniors leaving for college, trade schools, and careers. We have some seniors enlisting in our nation's military. Thank you for your future service. As one of the great philosophers of our times, Justin Timberlake once said, we are defined not by our gifts, but by our choices. Wait, maybe that wasn't JT who said that, but it's still a good quote. Intelligence is a gift. Kindness is a choice. Gifts are easy. Choices can be hard. Going forward into the real world after graduation, let's choose to be people of integrity and honor. Choose to be honest and choose to be kind. I think it was Melania Trump who said, at Dwyer High School, success is unavoidable. I'm just kidding, Mr. Brooks. But in all seriousness, I am confident that Dwyer has prepared the class of 2020 to navigate the challenges and opportunities presented to us with unbelievable success. Thank you for listening to me and letting me be a part of a wonderful four years at Dwyer High School. Congratulations. Go Panthers and go Tigers. At this time, I'd like to bring back Mr. Brooks to the podium. My letter to the class of 2020. Seniors, my sophomore year as your principal has been one of the most challenging of my career. With so much pain and suffering throughout the Dwyer community, it's hard not to shed a tear. We didn't see all of this coming, so many incidents. I mean plenty. When I put on my glasses, my vision is supposed to be 2020. Here we are at a virtual graduation and I am unable to embrace the feelings that you should possess. Instead, I do feel your anxiety, disappointment, and that feeling of emptiness. These times may be difficult for you and your family with all that we have to endure. I just hope and pray that we can get back to normal and simultaneously find a cure. After speaking with my supervisor, Dr. Lee, the other day, he asked about graduation and what I would say. I began to reflect on the many events that took place over the years. The advances in technology, you guys were born while the world was shifting gears. You were raised around the tragic times of 9-11, Hurricane Katrina, the war in Iraq, wow. Let's not forget about the development of the iPhone or that device that you're probably using right now. With all of these historical moments that have contributed to your maturation, you're destined for greatness and you have already overcome this current situation. I want you to understand your life is not a mistake. You have to know by now that living in this world is not a piece of cake. Yet, you are about to do what many people can only dream. I know it may not feel the same because it's behind a screen. Seniors, you have taught me so much about grit and resilience. You truly have defeated multiple levels of trauma and that's part of your brilliance. The summer of 2019, one of your classmates, Justin, had an accident that left him paralyzed and nearly drowned. Today, he will be graduating with his class. He refused to let his injuries keep him down. Hurricane Dorian came through at a massive Category 5, destroying our homes, possessions, and as well as taking lives. The senior class stepped up and raised donations for the cause. As Panthers, we focus on our strengths while we work to correct our flaws. I have shared these tragedies for only one reason. Adversity is imminent, seniors, but it only lasts for a season. 
Panthers, keep your head up, maintain that winning smile. Take the high road and always go the extra mile. You have to understand, life is designed to keep testing your faith. Please continue to accelerate and you will eventually win the race. Remain steady and diligent in your quest for knowledge, whether you're going to the workforce, the military, or straight to college. You have been in training all of your life for such a time as this. After today, you can scratch graduated from high school off your bucket list. So if you miss me on campus or don't see my cart, just know that I'm advocating for you and you're always in my heart. Panthers, it has been a privilege to serve you at William T. DeWire. Your resilience brought you so far, but your attitude and determination will carry you higher. Congratulations, seniors. We love you. God bless each of you, and God bless William T. DeWire High School. From Mr. Brooks. Superintendent Fenoy and our distinguished guest, now it's my time to present William T. DeWire's Class of 2020. Neon Wynn. Hudson Yates. Madeline Swift. Morgan Wade. Kelly Orlandi. Emma Kate Cavendish. Nico Toms. London Gray Williams. Talia Siegel. Sean Ung. Jessica Minsky. Heishman Nair. Jordan Betchy. Rachel Jetter. Kayla Abramowitz. Cassandra Ace. Tyra Adlersberg Goodman. Saul Alexis. Mark Allentoff. Megan Aliotto. Carissa Allen. Dylan Allen. Rikesia Allen. Leonardo Alacock. Carl Alador. Jerry Alvarez. Juliana Alvarez Lopez. Ethan Amdor. Justin Amico. Kenyania Anderson. Saviana Antoine. Kristen Anazeski. Jacob Apple. Caleb Archer. Daniel Arjona. Nachadi Aslan. Morgan Ochter. Ariel Axelrod. Cruz Ayala. Philip Bobby. Bianca Badalati. Nia Banks. Jonathan Barber. Kimberly Barnes. Walter Barnes. Jacob Barilak. Endrit Basha. Colby Ba. Megan Boris. Kaylee Beattie. Tristan Beavers. Abigail Bechtel. Claire Becky. Ramaya Beckford. Jennifer Bellorme. Hannah Ben Ezra. Christopher Benz. 
Brian Biederman, Ethan Blanchard, Marshall Bach, Brock Bonet, Madison Boyle, Quentin Bozzano, Maggie Bradford, Sean Breen, Jason Bromley, Hudson Broom, Anandi Brown, Fitzroy Brown, India Brown, Lance Brown, Nathan Brown, Sajay Brown, Christopher Bryan, Kamari Elijah Burns, Caleb Bymaster, Carolina Calero, Isabella Camberos, Isabella Camejo, Talia Campbell, Kayla Campo, Frislin Canell, Maurice Cantor, Amelia Cardenas, Aurelia Carls, Dawson Carmen, Nicholas Carano, Giovanna Casanova, Holly Castles, Anthony Cassini, Johnny Castaneda de Leon, Gabriela Castro Cedeno, Alexis Celestino, Morgan Sears, Daphne Charles, Aubrey Christie, Caitlin Cerullo, Elijah Cohenson, Bradley Cohen, Geraldo Colombo, Taylor Colton, Marley Kopp, Harrison Cornwell, Javier Cosley, Connor Cozzoli, Dylan Cromwell, Emily Cronin, David Christian Culp, Brianna Curry, Thomas Curry, Caroline Page Curry, Alyssa Dahl, Carson Daly, Ashley Daniels, Aaron Daria, Alexandra Davis, Damon Davis, Destiny Davis, Madeline Davis, Robert Davis, Ali Dawad, Alex Dawkins, Ava Deer, Vincent de Capua, Hannah Dietz, Colin James Warren de Kursky, Kamali del Rosario, Jenkins de Leon Perez, Madison DeMay, Alicia Demery, Angie Diristil Talusma, Yolanda Dylas, 
Elantra Dorville. Logan Dujon. Tanner Dial. Julia Ernest. Dylan East. Rita L. Dacac. Sylvia Escobar Granados. Espady Espendola. Levendley Estenville. Diana Evangelista. Hannah Evans. Fabrice Ferro. John Farrell. Joseph Farrell. Jace Feingold. Ari Felder. Lucas Farisi. Troy Ferguson. Madison Fernandez. Emily Ferris. Gia Finaldi. Destiny Fisher. Thomas Fletcher. Shanice Florimond. Connor Flowers. Kelly Foley. Luciano Fontaine. Dante Ferrer. Janiah Forrest. Jonathan Francis. Bella Franconero. Alexandra Frank. Evan Friedel. Amanda Friedman. Connor Fronrath. Larry Gaines. Ethan Garcia. Giuliano Gencarelli. Natalia Gibbs. Twain Glass. Casey Goguts. Nicole Goldberg. Adrian Gonzalez. Anthony Gonzalez. Camila Gonzalez Gomez. Marina Gonzalez Albo. Samuel Good. Kennedy Goods. Noah Gorman. Sabrina Goffrey. Morgan Graham. Zachary Granite. Courtney Grant. Christopher Guy. Andrew Guzman. Gabrielle Haas. Jada Hamilton. Joshua Hamilton. Mary Hanna. Trevon Hardy. Jessica Harrell Eason. Cade Harrington. Jalen Harrington. Jasmine Harris. Ramai Harris. Willow Hatfield. Lillian Hawkins. Kyla Hayden. Grace Heim. Linwood Henderson. Emmanuel Henriksen. Adam Herbst. Gage Herman. Anthony Hernandez. Marissa Herrera. 
Alyssa Hollins. Rebecca Holm. Shay Holmes. Samuel Holmes. Matthew Holt. Connor Hone. David Howard. Maria Oyuela. Bryce Hummel. Jacob Hussey. Gabriella Hutchinson. Samaya Hutchinson. Then Luke Hoon. Camille Ayano. Faith Illingworth. Thomas Impoco. Joseph Inkeo. Eddie Inman. William Irvin. Jade Jackson. Kyle Jackson. Randy Jackson. Sakia Jackson. Nicholas Jennings. Basil Johnson. Donovan Johnson. Aaron Johnson. Jalen Johnson. Brianna Jones. Emmanuel Jones. Anna Alexandra Judge. Isabella Kamakliotis. Josephine Canaric. Chelsea Keough. John Kern. Autumn Elise Kaiser. Ryan Kachadorian. Parsa Kiani. Brian Klotzbeer. Justin Knight. Sydney Catherine Kerner. Leah Coronas. Stella Kudis. Natalia Krikorian. Krista Kurtz. Catherine LaBeach. Dayuni Lamar. Blake Lang. Catherine Lipitsky. Amir LaRussi. Haley Lazarus. Jennifer Lee. Carter Lebechko. Cody Leader. Christian Joseph Lee. Christian Albert Lee. Zachary Lee. Jennifer Leva Melgar. Andrea Leon. Valentina Leon Mejia. John Lesh. Tiana Levy. Asia Lewin. Leah Licata. Lixon Lai. Layla Likely. Caleb Lilja. Lakoya Lockett. Jacoby Long. Ashley Lopardo. Kimberly Lopez. Amaris Lopez Pagan. Brianna Lorick. Christine Lewis. Samuel Lovett. 
Naquan Lowe. Troy Lowry. Jeremy McCarthy. Andrew Mack. Marielle Maganoli. Sage Mahar. Sonia Maldonado. Amima Malik. Alexandra Malki. Tevin Marshall. Juan Martinez. Justin Martinez. Dina Maslamani. Ethan Merrill. Daniel Mazur. Kristen McCausland. Sawyer McGarg. Dominique McKenzie. Julia Mead. Maxwell Mecca. Cameron Calloway Meek. Wilka Mejias. Devin Melbourne. Christopher Mendeville. Joseph Menini. James Marillion. Joshua Mertens. Wilvane Mateer. Carolina Mieles. Alexander Milker. Matuti Milkowski. Brianna Miller. Whitney Mitchell. John Mylash. Matthew Mondo. Marissa Moore. Megan Moore. Rochelle Moore. Gianna Moretto. Shatoria Morrison. Angela Moya. Madison Mullen. Matthew Mullings. Matthew Mullins. Alicia Murdoch. Jade Murdoch. Lenaya Murphy. Christopher Mustakas Gaitis. Jacqueline Myers. Anthony Navaroli. Annabal Navarro. Delaney Nelson. Peyton Nelson. Eric Wynn. Vivian Wynn. Dave Nicholas. Grant Nichols. Isabella Nobile. Sahara Noble Khan. Kaylee O'Keefe. Cheyenne Oker. Joshua Oliveira. Bolaji Olafin. Vanessa Ordones. Blake Oris. Guinevere Chanel Pagley. Nicholas Paglino. Bianca Papa. Tamaya Parker. Jonathan Pascac Catalan. Turner Pellegrin. Jade Pemberton. Charles Penner. Michaela Penisi. Oliver Pepping. 
Karen Perez Mazariegos. Rocky Perez Mazariegos. Monica Perez. Nicholas Perez. Sandy Perez. Aurora Peters. Gabriel Peters. Rachel Peters. Kamaya Peterson. Alyssa Pham. Carl Phileas. Gianna Pisanko. Fee Pierre. Jasmine Pierre. Ornans Pierre. Reginald Pierre Paul. Reese Pilcher. Don Marie Pisa. Gregory Ponder. Max Popiel. Nazrael Presendo. Brandon Proenza. Andrew Puckett. Evelyn Laura Raffaelli. Marvin Ramirez. Jediana Ramsaran. Angelina Ranieri. Kelsey Rapp. Malika Rashid. Caroline Riley. Jacqueline Rasuelo. Nadej Richard. Kierna Rickard. Finn Ramey. Sydney Rivera. Ellie Robbins. Jonah Roberts Murphy. Camarion Robertson. Maurice Robinson. Maggie Rochefort. Kayla Rodriguez. Samantha Rodriguez. Samuel Rosencrantz. Kanisha Ross. Rihanna Rowe. Chloe Rubin. Louis Rusalin. Shelby Russell. Sophia Sadati. Shaneda Sainville. Fernanda Salamanca. Luciana Salas. Erica Samaniego. Carson Sanders. Carlos Sandoval Chilel. Ambriana Santos. Sofia Sartain. Samuel Schell. Ava Shearer. Loriana Schilling. Isabella Schmucker. Robert Schwarz. Brooke Scoglio. Carolina Scott. Isaiah Scott. Jack Scott. Katiana Scruggs. Alex Say. Abigail Sekerel. David Seymour. Nathan Shapiro. Gabriel Shields. Dylan Shingledecker. Jacob Sugars. Marta Simonova. 
Malik Singleton. Deja Smith. Haley Smith. Hannah Smith. Jamisha Smith. Joshua Smith. Savannah Smith. Trevor Spray. Courtney Sroka. Savannah Statlander. Carly Steffen. Sam Stein. Quinlan Stewart. Skylar Stewart. Allison Stone. Tasania Tate. Lauren Taylor. Shamaya Taylor. Colin Thomas. Dylan Thomas. Zachary Thomas. Austin Thompson. Stephen Tofani. Tara Toksu. Deja Torsha. Alexis Torres. Samantha Torres. Mindy Tran. Melanie Trueblood. Glib Saymaster. Joel Tucker. Austin Turpin. Tyler Taberski. Mackenzie Vadas. Michael Valenti. Jay Vargas. Genesis Velazquez. Yasmin Velazquez. Christian Vierschilling. Savannah Wade. Cy Wagner. Haley Wagner. Lauren Wagner. Stephanie Walgreen. Alton Walker. David Todd Walker III. Kai Walker. Nakira Walker. Savannah Walker. Josias Wallace. Thomas Walsmith. Lily Walter. Jeremiah Wannon. Johan Warren. Kylie Warren. Amani Wah. Sierra Weaver. Jack Wegman. Sarah Weintraub. William Weisler. Julia White. Kashana Whittle Rawls. Angel Wilbon. Madison Wilcox. Elena Wilhelm. Karis Williams. Dion Williams. Elizabeth Williams. Malia Williams. Jack Wilson. Ashley Wanuski. Adam Wirtz. Michael Waibara. Eric Yeoman. John Yeomans. 
Ashley Young, Jeremiah Young, Julian Izagare, Anthony Zabala Barani. Seniors, please stand. Superintendent Fenoy, at this time, it is my pleasure to present the William T. Dwyer High School Class of 2020. I hereby declare that each student has successfully completed all the requirements and standards for high school graduation as prescribed by the Florida Department of Education and the School District of Palm Beach County to earn a diploma. At this time, I will invite Class Officer Maddie Swift to perform the turning of the task. Graduates, please move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. By the power vested in me through the school district of Palm Beach County, I pronounce you graduates of William T. Dwyer High School. Please stand and join me in applauding the class of 2020. Go Panthers.